Tennessee Task Force One returned home to Memphis tonight after several days helping search for tornado victims in Oklahoma. The team, mostly made up of Memphis firefighters, went to aid in recovery efforts. They took several doctors, canine units, and essential supplies to Moore, Oklahoma. Task Force members said it was a grim situation, but were glad they were able to help. Everywhere you went, just more things you couldn't believe you saw. But for us, it gave us a lot of experience to see it and be able to learn from it. If something like we were to be here, it wouldn't be so much of an awe. We'd be more accustomed to it. Back in Oklahoma, residents are still cleaning up and trying to put their lives back together. The first funeral was held for one of the victims, and new estimates of damage are coming out. Nearly 12,000 homes were damaged in the Moore, Oklahoma area. That's where Action News 5's Lauren Squires joins us now live with how one popular Mid-South bar has a connection to Moore. Lauren? Yeah, Joe, it's a small world, and I've been amazed at how many connections we've made here and more to the Mid-South. Tonight, we go into a business here and more that has a whole lot of Memphis inside and out. We just watched it come down the road on TV and kind of screaming at it to go away or turn or do something. If there's one place and more where everybody knows your name. It's home away from home. It's here at Dan McGinnis off 19th Street. It's really hard. It's hard to take in. Monday, an EF5 tornado tore through more, ripping apart the strip mall where Jim Fields spends much of his time. Uh, I think one of the things that saved us is the solid wood pub front, and then uh, we also, it's a, it's a longer span. Neighboring businesses were completely destroyed. His left standing. Glass of beer is still sitting here. But you don't have to look far to see that this pub has a lot of Memphis connections. You kind of find a home that, you know, we've brought, uh, we brought a lot of Memphis. The, uh, one of our main tables over here was in the uh, TJ Mulligans in downtown Memphis. Fields lived in Memphis for years before he moved back to his hometown and seven years ago opened up Dan McGinnis under the same ownership group as the Memphis locations. And it's home away for home for really hundreds of people uh, that live here. You know, we're getting messages all, all day. Messages from Memphians who visited, friends who knew while he was there, and anyone with Memphis ties and more. We've got lots of uh, phone calls and messages and stuff for everybody in Memphis, and we certainly appreciate uh, the love coming from that way, and uh, you know, we'll keep everybody posted on what's next. And Fields tells me he has about 30 employees that are now without a job. Still, he says it's not a matter of if he'll reopen, but when. Certainly a sign of the resilience here in town. By the way, behind me, this is the Moore Medical Center. And tonight, for the first time, people were allowed to go inside and look through their cars and gather their belongings. Just one more sign of progress in working towards the cleanup. Live in Moore, Oklahoma, Lauren Squires, Action News 5.